we're going to change colors all the way through. Ciao friends! Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today's project is our sunburst. Remember we made a solid one and then we did the two-tone and now I'm going to show you how we change. We're going to change colors all the way through a whole bunch of times because all of these things are going together to make a very cute little project that I will show you when I have all of my squares done. So I've already made two that look exactly the same here. And I made one each of the dark pink outside and the light pink. So let's make the light pink. That sounds like fun. We didn't work with the light pink before. So we'll make this, we'll make another one that looks exactly like this with our feels like butter. And we keep going with the same yarn and make a nice big pile of these because I have a grand plan for all of these to coordinate. And it'll be so cute. So we're going to make this one today. We do a lot of color changes and notice that my knots don't show. I'm going to use my ebony furls. Again, it's the four millimeter. That's the hook that I've been using for all of these other ones and I want them to be as close as possible. Start with a magic circle. If you're not familiar, I have a very quick couple minute tutorial on how to do it the easy way, which was just like that. It's done now. So simple. So there's our magic circle. I'm going to chain one and in our magic circle we are going to double crochet 16 times. And for this first row I like to mark this stitch so I don't lose it. And now we're going to put 16 total double crochets in our magic circle. And here's my last double crochet in my magic circle pull our circle closed and now to finish that round finish this circle we just slip stitch into our mark stitch done take out the marker we don't need him anymore the rest of our things are really easy to find all of our landmarks will be very obvious okay for the second round I'm going to stick with the pink because we're making this one again stick with the pink chain one and now we're going to make three yarn over clusters so what that is, is yarn over go through the stitch pull through and pull up yarn over do that same thing again pull through and pull up and yarn over through the, all through the same stitch pull up one two three four five six seven loops on our hook yarn over pull through everything and chain one to close your little puff all the way around we'll have 16 puffs we'll do that one more time through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull up, yarn over, pull through and up, yarn over, pull through and up. Do that three times, you'll have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through everything, and chain one to close. Do that all the way around. And here's my last one. Don't forget the last one. You want to have 16. Yarn over, pull through three times, pull through, chain one to close, count your stitches, make sure that you have 16 puffs, and then we are going to be done with pink. So find the space in between your first puff and your second puff. Put our hook in there and just slip stitch. Now we've closed our circle for round two and you can finish off. We're done with pink for the time being till we get to the very outside. Pull our circle closed. Move on to the dusty pink. Again I'm doing these on purpose because I have a project coming up and I need all of these squares to do it. So I just thought I would show everybody what I was doing before I get to assembly. We will assemble them later. Alright so we want to start our next round in between any of these puffs. Just as long as you're in between a puff is all fine and good. chain one and now we are going to do what I call a double crochet cluster but a lot of people call it a bobble so what we're going to do is four double crochets cluster so what we do is yarn over pull through and pull through two do not finish that stitch we're going to keep some stitches on our hook 
that was the first time. Do that same thing again. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two. There's the second time. Yarn over, pull through two. There's the third one. Yarn over, pull through two. There's our fourth time. We'll have five loops on our hook. Now we want to yarn over, pull through everything, chain one to close, and one more chain in between each bobble. So we'll just do that again. Do just half. Don't finish your stitch. So you end up with five loops on your hook. Pull through, chain one to close, and chain one more. That's our sequence all the way around. You will have 16 bobbles, and I will meet you when you get done with your bobble number 16. And now here will be my last bobble. So one, two, three, and four. Five loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all of them, chain one to close, and chain one more. And now to close around this round, find the space in between your first and second bobble, slip stitch, and finish off that color. And you can see I was working over the light pink tail, so we don't have to worry too much about weaving in that one, and now we'll cover this one too. So we're going to move on to the pale gray for our next round. So now we'll start turning it again into a square. We're going to add our corners now. So we just start our yarn wherever you want to as long as you're in between a bobble. Right here and we want to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're going to hold this yarn tail up so we can keep working over it. But in this same chain space right here, we want to also add three triple crochets, which is two yarn overs. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Two yarn overs, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And one more time. So we did half of our first corner here. Now we'll move on to the side. In between our next two bobbles is three double crochet. And the next one is three half double crochets. To yarn over and pull through everything. Pull through all three. And pull through all three. In the next space, now we're going to cover the both of these tails. So keep all, both of those available way up here so we can stitch over them. But in between the next two bobbles, this is another set of three double crochets. So we're making a side of our square. And now we're going to make another corner. So in between the next two bobbles, want to put in three triple crochets, so that's two yarn overs, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, two yarn overs, and three. There's three triple crochets, chain three, and three more triple crochets in that same corner space. And there's a corner. That will always be a corner and then our sequence for the next side is still going to be three double crochets, three half double crochets, three double crochets. So that's our sequence all the way around. Three doubles, three half doubles, three doubles, and a corner. And here's my last space. So it gets three double crochets. Gets a little granny cluster right here. One, two, three. 
and now we have to finish this corner. So what we have here is a chain 7, which is our chain 3 in between, and 1 triple crochet. So what we need to do is add 2 more triple crochets in that same space, 1, and 2, and slip stitch into the fourth chain, so you still have your chain 3 up top, 1, 2, 3, so we're going to slip stitch right here. And you see, it looks like every other corner that way. No big knot anywhere. I love that little sneaky thing. One more round is all we need to do. So we can finish off this gray. Snip. Pull. Pull that nice and tight. See, we're working over our ends, so this is not going to be much of a hardship, even though there are a lot of tails. They'll be easy to manage because you were weaving over them the entire time. Snip, snip, snip. That's all we need to do. One more round, and we're going back to the baby pink to do our final round. And again, you can start just about anywhere you want, but I'm going to start in a corner. Chain three, one, two, three. That's going to count as a stitch. It's going to count as a double crochet. Double crochet again, and double crochet again. So there's three double crochets. The first chain three, and then two double crochets. Chain two, and three double crochet. That is our first corner. Now in between every cluster, down this line, down this side, we're going to put in three double crochets in between every cluster until we get back to the corner. So there we go, we have a corner, and then one, two, three, four granite clusters, and now we'll do another corner, which is three double crochet, one, two, three, chain two, and three more double crochet. And that's our sequence all the way around. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. That is a corner. And everything in between is a granny cluster of three double crochets. And right, there's my last space in between my last two clusters. One, two, and three double crochets, and I worked over my silver or gray tail. Now this corner is complete, so we just have to slip stitch into our third chain. And finish off the pink. Snip, snip. Pull through. Get a good knot. Most of these are going to be good to go. Just tug them a little bit and you can snip them all off. Not a whole lot of weaving to do because they shouldn't come unraveled. This is the only knot that really shows much, but they're all going to be linked together. So there we go. Made two of them that look exactly the same now. So I'm working on a big pile. I'll have them done soon. I will be back to assemble them into something very cool soon. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and stop back really soon and see what I'm making next. Thanks. Bye.